Yo, what up, y'all? What's good? It's your boy Jamal back with another episode. Mall Talk Network, episode number four. Told y'all I'm coming back quick with it. Got a Ravens update today. We've been right back on track, looking good. Three wins in a row. Teams have been pretty mediocre, but I'll take it. It's helping us get into the playoffs. Bouncing back after losing three of our last of our previous four from those three last wins. The biggest thing that has changed for us since the little slump that we were on is health. We're actually healthy now. We got a lot of guys back on the field. Calais Campbell, Pat Ricard, Lamar Jackson, obviously the biggest. Uh, you got Mark Andrews, who was also out. And you have a couple other guys. But uh, these are just some of the big names that we had out. Lamar has been taking care of the ball a lot better as well. Um, he's uh, cut his interceptions in half. He had four in that uh, losing streak. In the three losses that we had, uh, three games that we won, he's only had two. Taking care of the ball is a major thing, especially at the quarterback position. You gotta make sure we're keeping the ball. We can't be turning the ball over, giving these teams easy scores. Now, let's get into that uh, Cleveland game. I know uh, a lot of y'all probably saw that Cleveland game that we played. Easily the best game of the season. A lot of people would agree with that. I don't think it's too much of a debate. Um, the back and forth, I didn't expect the Cleveland Browns to play that hard. They showed a lot of heart. Now, if you ask me, Lamar showed exactly why he's a top five player and a top five quarterback. Yeah, like I said, top five player. I think he's a top five player in this league and also a top five quarterback against the Browns. Um, he had a 99.5 QBR rating. He had nine carries for 124 yards and two rushing touchdowns, 11 for 17 passing, 163 yards passing with one touchdown. He was phenomenal. We all know about how he came out the game, rumors he had to go take a shit, he had the bubble guts, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> but he came back, played Superman, put the cape around his neck, and he showed out for us, he showed out to the league. I think everybody was uh, surprised to see him come out that quick. I thought he was done, me personally. I didn't think he was going to come back into the game. It's looking good for Lamar. He's playing a lot better. He's playing with a lot more confidence. He's throwing the ball with a lot more confidence. Um, he had a big, big game against Jacksonville. I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, they're complete ass. I mean, they, they won one game and then they've lost all 13 cents. J.K. Dobbins. I predicted J.K. Dobbins was going to be a franchise running back, and I am looking correct right now. J.K. Dobbins is doing an amazing job. I mean, I'm a big fan of Gus Edwards, but I think he's going to end up becoming the uh, uh, number one running back for us. He looks like Ray Rice out there a lot. Um, the one thing that he can improve on is catching the ball out the backfield. Uh, that's the one thing that I can't really compare him to with Ray Rice because Ray Rice was elite when it came to all-purpose yards. Um, JK is not all the way there. He's got 110 touches for 568 yards and six touchdowns. That's 5.2 yards per touch. I mean, that's really, really, I mean, when you're getting over four yards a carry, when you're getting over five yards a carry, I mean, that's elite. That's, that's elite numbers right there. I mean, give him a couple more years and we don't even have to pay him yet. But when the time comes, we got to pay him because he's going to be really important. Mark Ingram, he's showing his age. He's not really doing uh, the job that we thought he would be doing this season. I think age and attrition is kicking in with him. And uh, the battering ram style of running uh, that he has is starting to catch up to him, I think. So we need to keep Gus Edwards, and we need to make sure we pay J.K. Dobbins as well. Pro bowlers were announced. We had seven of them, most in the league. Uh, not 13 like we had last year, but seven still the most in the league. You got Calais Campbell. You got Orlando Brown. You got the long snapper, Morgan Cox. You got Marlon Humphrey, Matt Judon, Justin Tucker, and Project Pat Ricard. So um, nice representation. I would have loved to see Lamar uh, in there. Shout out to the guys that are representing us. Judon doing his thing. Real cool dude. I actually played basketball with him a couple times. Uh, he's really cool dude. He's actually a good basketball player too. Man, it's fucking massive. I mean, this dude is huge. Made me look small. Now, there was this guy that we drafted. His name was uh, Hollywood Brown. He's no longer known as Hollywood Brown to me. His name is Bollywood Brown. We're going to call him Marquise Bollywood Brown because um, he's not about that action like Hollywood is. Hollywood is all about action and excitement. Um, he's really dropping the ball, literally, when it comes to this. He's not having the explosive plays. He's not showing up the way that he claims that he's supposed to be showing up. He's going on Twitter, talking about how he's not getting enough touches, but he had three drops against the Cleveland Browns. He had three drops, granted. Now, I'll give him a slight, a slight bit of credit. He caught the touchdown that I believe gave us the lead um, in the Browns game. He caught that touchdown and took it into the end zone. I'll give him that. But three drops, that one touchdown doesn't, you're not forgiven for the three drops and overall just the poor performance the whole season. Um, one touchdown doesn't change all that for me. Uh, I need to see a consistent body of work and he doesn't have that. And I'm not out here to just bash a dude 
because I'm not even in his position. He hasn't shown up and people have a lot of things to say about it because he went out and ran his mouth about his touches. And when he finally had those touches, he dropped them. So this is what happens. Your name is Bollywood Brown until proven otherwise to me. And uh, that's just how it goes. I hope he gets better. I'm not looking, I'm not wishing that he doesn't get any better, but the way that he's been talking and just what makes it even worse. I mean, I've been saying this since last year, we passed on DK Metcalf and AJ Brown to get this guy and he hasn't paid dividends at all. Not to say that he's not a good pick, but looking at the people that we passed him up for, it's not adding up. So until, uh, until further notice, my man's name is Bollywood Brown. Uh, Bollywood Brown is going to be his name and it's going to stay that name to me. Like I said, until further notice. So now let me break down uh, these playoff scenarios. We win our last two games combined with a Cleveland, Indiana, Miami, or Tennessee loss. We'll get into the playoffs. That's uh, the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, we lose to the Giants and Miami loses one of their last two games and we both end up with the same record. We would win that final spot due to uh, strength of victory rating. Um, so that would be the uh, stickiest situation as far as getting into the playoffs for us. Probably some computer came up with that shit, who knows, but that's worst case scenario. There's another scenario to where if we win our last two games and combine that with Miami lost to the Raiders or the Bills, Colts lost to the Steelers in week 16, or Browns lose to the Steelers in week 17. We can jump as high as the fifth seed if that happens. So. Um, there's also a possibility of that. That would be nice. But um, my personal opinion, I think we're going to make the playoffs. We just got to handle our own business. We got to win our last two games, which I hope shouldn't be a problem. We're going to need some help, obviously, as you can see. Luck is reserved for those that are prepared. So as long as we win our last two games, we should put ourselves in a position to make the playoffs. And if that happens, all teams should be looking out because nobody wants to run into that run offense. I mean, we're crushing teams right now. 200 yards over the head easy each game. Uh, nobody wants to play against a team like that in the playoffs. Uh, we're winning the line of scrimmage against everybody we run into in the losses. We're still dominating the line of scrimmage, and that's where the football game is still won and lost at. No matter what happens, I don't care how pass happy this league gets, the game of football is always going to be won at the line of scrimmage. Those big boys down in the trenches with their hands in the mud are always going to be the ones that decide how the game goes, especially in the playoffs. So, playoffs come around, we get in there, teams ain't going to want to run into us. We can tell you that much. So. Got another update on the Ravens, hometown team, Baltimore. Y'all know how that go. Tell me what y'all think about what's going to happen as far as the last two games. I hope none of y'all out there doubting us. I know how some of y'all are. We have a really great fan base, but there's a few fans of y'all out there that just don't really support the team properly. You know, it's like y'all really are quick to just bash us. So it's always funny, especially y'all Steelers fans that are from Baltimore. I'll never understand that. If you a Steelers fan and you from Baltimore, you're really, really corny. I mean, I, I look at you like an Al Sharpton. And that, that's just my personal opinion. I'm off on a tangent right now, but I'm going to leave it at that. Small Talk Network, episode number four. I'm over here working on number five now. Shout out to everybody that's been showing support. Everyone that's been liking the video. Everybody that's been commenting. Everybody that's been sharing the video. Appreciate it. Do it again. Tell me what y'all think about everything that's happening with us in the season. Comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit the share button. All that good stuff. Small Talk Network, episode number four. I'm out. Deuce.